Hello dear friends and thank you so much for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the latest edition that is going to join the sophisticated Les Eaux de Chanel fragrance collection and this is a fragrance dedicated to my favorite city Paris. The fragrance is called Paris Paris and if you've been following me for a while I have been teasing you about this fragrance. It was supposed to be released in February this year but then the launch was postponed so I have a few samples of this fragrance. Um, I was able to get those samples before the fragrance was launched and then I also have um, samples from the body lotion and in this video I'm going to give you my full review because I have already worn the fragrance for the past couple of days. As of today the fragrance is available in the US and in Europe. I already purchased the fragrance and the body lotion because I absolutely love it. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty, be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you here. I'm a huge Chanel lover and I always do my best to show you the latest luxury beauty releases so that you can make an informed decision if a product is right for you or not, we have amazing positive community of luxury lovers here. If you have already tried the new Paris Paris fragrance, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Your opinion is very, very valuable to our whole community. Now let's go ahead and get started with the actual review. I have the fragrance sprayed right here. I have a sample and I also, I think I'm going to open right now my last um, sample of the body lotion. I just purchased the fragrance. So it's on its way to me. I am very excited for this fragrance because this is a fragrance dedicated to Paris. It is a light floral fragrance with some citrus notes and it also has patchouli in the base. I would say that definitely it has the Chanel DNA. I think that Olivier Polge did an incredible masterpiece here. This is exactly the fragrance that for me it represents early morning in Paris. It is light floral Feminine. Paris Paris is a bright floral composition that has the sophisticated DNA of Chanel's fragrances. It has a fresh citrus opening. Let me go ahead and smell it. I actually um, have sprayed already the fragrance all over my skin and all over my clothes. I absolutely love it. I have fallen in love with the fragrance from the first spray. This is exactly the kind of fragrance that I wanted to see from Chanel, especially after Le Lyon. Le Lyon was not one of my favorite fragrances because it was too intense and too heavy for me. And I'm so happy that Olivier Polge created this very light, very easy to wear fragrance. So Paris Paris starts with a fresh citrus opening and I can immediately see, I can immediately feel a little bit of the rose in the fragrance. So it's, the opening is very playful and fresh, but at the same time, there is a certain amount of sophistication of the fragrance. As the fragrance starts to develop, I can definitely feel the woody and patchouli note in the fragrance. The patchouli is not too dark, but it adds enough depth to the fragrance. It is a young, effervescent fragrance with a very playful character, but still it remains very sophisticated, which is typical for most Chanel fragrances. If you're someone who likes uplifting floral fragrances with a touch of citrus, I think that you're going to enjoy this fragrance a lot. It is very easy to wear. I would say that this is a safe blind buy for those of you who love light floral fragrances. There is nothing too complicated in this fragrance. It is simple, it is timeless, just like a morning in Paris. So I think that with this fragrance, Olivier Poche managed to capture the spirit of early mornings in Paris. And this is something that I especially love about this fragrance. It is, there is nothing heavy, there is nothing mysterious about this fragrance. It is light, easy to wear, develops beautifully. I think that this is the kind of fragrance that everyone can wear. It is not too feminine. I think that everyone can wear this fragrance depending on your preferences. I really enjoy the fresh citrus opening of the fragrance that is mixed with the rose. I think that this is exactly what represents for me early morning in Paris. When I wear this fragrance, immediately after spraying it, I can imagine that I'm walking on the streets of Paris. It's early in the morning. I'm looking at the beautiful buildings and I'm enjoying the monuments of Paris. When still Paris is asleep, when still it's the sunrise and there are not too many people on the streets, it's a very romantic scent. For me personally, this is the association that I'm getting from this fragrance. And then I'm sitting in a small French cafe. I'm having my morning coffee with a croissant. It's just a very, 
romantic, very inspiring scent for me. There is nothing too there is nothing dark or mysterious about this fragrance. It's not like evening in Paris. I would definitely describe this fragrance as early mornings in Paris, which is for me this is the most beautiful time in Paris. And I absolutely adore it. I'm very happy with the performance and the longevity of this fragrance on my skin. It lasts a um, good five hours. Of course, I always make sure that my skin is moisturized because if your skin is dry, I suppose that the fragrances are not going to be as long lasting. But since I have quite sensitive skin, I always use moisturizer on my skin and I can definitely say that I can still feel the fragrance after five hours of wear. Then the second day I was wearing the fragrance together with the body lotion and the fragrance is even more long lasting. I absolutely love the body lotion. Let's go ahead and actually open the last body lotion that I have. And the full size bottle is traveling to me. I was saving this for the time when the full size bottle is going to travel to me because I really like the lotion. I just want to show you the consistency. I think that the lotion is a very nice touch. I always love the Chanel's body lotions because they can make the fragrance more long lasting. And let's go ahead and I want to show you the consistency of the lotion. So there we have it. This is the consistency of the body lotion. It is rich, it's moisturizing. I love it. I have sensitive skin and I don't have problems with um, the fragrance body lotions of Chanel. I actually enjoy using them a lot. And usually in the evening, I like to rub the body lotion on my legs because it helps me sleep better. It is not too fragranced. So the body lotion is has a light scent. Let me go ahead and apply this. You can see how, what a small amount of body lotion I had and it's absolutely enough to do my whole arm. It is very light, it's non-greasy. You can apply the body lotion and then dress right away. There is not going to be a problem. And the body lotion has a very beautiful scent. A week ago I traveled to south of France and that's actually where I received the samples and the body lotion. I don't know if you know guys but in the past I used to live in south of France. This is a very beautiful time of my life and I have a friend there that works at Chanel and she was able to get me those samples um, a little before the launch of the fragrance. She knows how much I love Chanel and I have been enjoying to test the fragrance for a few days and one of the days I decided to only wear the body lotion because I wanted to test it. I wanted to see like, can you replace the fragrance with the body lotion and I would absolutely 100% recommend the body lotion. I love the light scent that it gives to my body and even if you only get the body lotion, if you're too sensitive to fragrances, I think that you're going to enjoy it. I have to say that I'm in love with the body lotion. Now, I find that when I wear the body lotion, I only need a couple of sprays of the fragrance just because I don't, I'm not, sometimes I'm a heavy sprayer, but most of the time I prefer when my skin is not like too obvious and doesn't speak before I do. Yes, I just wanted to recommend the body lotion. For those of you who have problems with longevity of fragrances or just it's a very nice, very luxurious touch. If you want to enjoy the full ritual, I would say get the body lotion and the fragrance together because they are an amazing combination. Now, for those of you who cannot try the fragrance, I know that some of you guys can't go to a Chanel boutique and cannot try the fragrance. I would say that it's a very safe to buy only the body lotion because you're going to get a sense of the fragrance. And the... Paris Paris fragrance is of course more intense, the scent is more intense, but if you get the body lotion, I think that you're going to enjoy it a lot because the scent is very light, you can always use it on its own or you can mix with another fragrance that you have if you are into layering fragrances or even if you're not, I think that it's a nice touch. I think that everyone is going to enjoy it and I think that the body lotion is the safest buy. And it's a very affordable way to actually try the fragrance without spending the money on the fragrance. Indeed, so definitely would recommend get the body lotion if you're in doubt, if you're wondering whether you're going to like the fragrance or not, get the body lotion because this is going to give you the idea of how the fragrance smells and you're going to know if you're going to like the fragrance or it's going to be a skip. And even if it's not your perfect fragrance, even if you don't really love it, 
Still, you're going to have a very light, very beautiful body lotion. So that was all for today's video. A huge thank you for spending time with me. I always appreciate your time so much when you choose to watch my videos. It means so much to me. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.